Up until a few days ago, if you wanted to purchase an iPhone and make sure that there was not a cloud account associated with it, which can be a problem if you want to activate the phone or when you restore it, sometimes it comes as a surprise after you buy the phone. Uh, in any case, you could go to this website, iCloud.com forward slash activation lock. Now, suddenly, for some reason, uh, just a couple of days ago, Apple took this page down. So you cannot go directly to that location and find out the status of the iCloud or whether or not there's an iCloud installed on that phone or attached to that phone in some way. And the reason you want to do this is, of course, that if you ever update or reset the phone, you may get locked out. And if you can't contact the person that has those credentials, you're not going to really be able to use the phone. So if you're cloud locked, uh, you're kind of stuck with a phone that can't do a whole lot. For the time being, at least, if you go to this address, just go to getsupport.apple.com, click on iPhone. And from here, you're going to click on repairs and physical damage. And then probably the easiest way to get the information that you need is just go ahead and click on display is cracked. And that will bring you to a page where you have the option to send in your phone for repair. Go ahead and click on send in for repair and then you'll be prompted to enter your IMEI or MEID. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the IMEI from my phone. And if you don't know how to get to that, you can do a number of things. You can go into settings, click on general, and then about. And if you scroll down, you should see an IMEI or an MEID. A faster way to do this, you can also go to your dialer on your phone and press star pound zero six pound if you have a GSM phone. If you do, that will display the IMEI on the screen. From that point, you're going to go into this little box and enter your IMEI, which I'm going to do right now. And yes, I'm going to blur out part of it because you really don't need my IMEI. That is not going to help you, obviously. But let me get this punched in. And once I click enter or proceed here, a little arrow on the right hand side, I'll get a response from Apple. Now, if there is an iCloud or find my iPhone specifically turned on on the device, it's going to tell me, sorry, but we can't create a repair while Find My iPhone is active. If there was not a Find My iPhone installed on this device, this would tell me it's in the clear and allow me to proceed to the next page. But when I get this message that says we can't create a repair while Find My iPhone is active, that means if you're looking to purchase a phone, you need to make sure that the person who is selling you the phone removes that option from their account on this device. Otherwise, you might ultimately end up with something that you cannot use. I've been working on a podcast for the last few weeks, so if you're interested in topics related to the repair business, be sure to check that out every Monday at gocellphonerepair.com forward slash podcast or search for PhoneCast on iTunes or Google Music. Every Friday, I'll recap the week in wireless and talk about what's going on in the phone world. More repair videos are coming soon, so if you haven't already done so, remember to hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.